Today, I'm catching up with one of the smartest 15-year-olds you'll ever meet. This is Jamie. Jamie's been a part-time seller on eBay for the last 18 months. And during the week, I received a message from him saying that he was gonna step back from eBay and wanted to know if I wanted to roll out to his storage unit and buy all of his really cool stuff. Now, having known Jamie for a fair while now, I understand that he knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to eBay and his product knowledge especially is really dialed in. So this is gonna be an awesome video. I can't wait to show you the stuff that Jamie's got inside his storage unit that I get to get my hands on. It's gonna be a fun video. Hit the like button, let's get into it. Here he is here. Oh, so do you, have you got a, did you have a desk in here and worked in here at one point? Yeah. This is awesome. So, so what's uh, up, what's up for grabs? Everything. What do you mean? Anything you want. Really? Yeah, I just need to move, move stuff on. Wow. It's not bad stuff either, I just had it for too long. No, dude, so I know you know what you're doing. There's two stacks of like stuff that you're probably like lower end. Okay. And everything here is stuff I think you'd like. Now, maybe you're watching this like me and you're pretty overwhelmed. There's a lot of stuff here to pick from. How do you go about diving into it? Well, I like to break it out into categories. And the first one that we're gonna have a look at is some of the clothing items that I'm interested in. Queensland Marines, State of Origin jersey, Australia Rugby League jersey. Just pretty, uh, I don't know how old that is, but it looks a bit old. And then we've got a, um, you said 2000s, Penn yeah. Panthers as well. Early 2000s. Yeah. So a couple of really good jerseys. If I'm doing clothing, as you guys know, it's just gonna be sports gear. So you got, what, what sets have you got in there? Um, so you got Falling Skies. That's good. It's all right. Upstairs. Oh, that's good. Upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. Um, Jamie's just looked out all of his DVD box sets here, but I've just gone and grabbed all of these um, video games as well. There's a few more box sets here too. So Mighty Boosh, Soap, um, Da Vinci's Demons there. There's three seasons. Uh, that's Game of Thrones 1 to 4. He's also found these. A couple of really good Texas Instrument calculators. Um, one goes for, what, 30? The other goes for 70? Yeah, so they, they could be all right. And then we've got a bunch of shoes. So we've got some Hoka's here. These are some Hoka trail shoes, which are pretty interesting. Um, some 97s and then some Kayano 25s. Plus we've got some pretty cool hats as well. So slowly building up a bit of a mini bundle here. Um, but yeah, it's, there's a lot to pick through. I'll add these to the collection. They do go okay. Yeah, they do go okay. That's all right. Volume one, one, two. Never heard of Toy Box. Jam. That's actually surprisingly right. I think it's about 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Well, it says complete collection. It says BBC. <laughs> so I reckon that would be the case. Never heard of it though. Those two tubs there, are they similar scenarios around this collection where they're more like um, $15 to $20 games? I think it could be a couple. There's a couple that aren't. Like there's a couple where you have GameCube ones. Okay. They're definitely worth more, like at the back of them. What GameCubes have you got? You never see, you never see GameCube. No. Nah, um... Cars, Reckless, Need for Speed, and Mickey's Mouse. I'd say probably around 30 to 35 average. Okay. All right. Nothing crazy out of those. Yep. Um, All right, that's a, that's a pretty cool tub. There's a couple of 3DS, nothing crazy. Probably best to be Smash Bros. Yeah, okay. Probably about 20. Yeah. Um, that, well, that's a, that's a good tub. Yeah. Oh, there's one piece on it. Oh, there is. What's that? Spice World. Spice World. So Jamie's just said that this Futurama game, if you find in the States, NTSC, it's worth about $200. What's it worth here in, in Australia? I think around 25 It's 25. still a good game, but yeah. nowhere near. 25 bucks, but um, yeah, NTSC, if you find these States version yeah, games. probably around 30 but 30 then, bucks? Oh, yeah, and Australia. then I'll look up NTSC version. Listed, one's listed for 530 so wow. it's sold. So it's a rare game over there. Yeah. Um, so that's why I don't give up on the uh, NTSC games and if, if you find them here in Australia, because there's big international markets out there and some of them could be worth some pretty crazy money. Haven, that's good. Haven. Oh, Haven's great. That, Is that, that complete? The whole series, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. It's like 100 bucks. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, turtles. Turtles. You yeah, got turtles of... everywhere. You got yeah. turtles over here. See, so there's a turtle down there. And you got a turtle up there as well. Is that complete if you make all that up? Possibly. I don't know if they're the same series. Right. Well, um, the, this is the one you actually want, I believe. I think so. This is the old school version. Um, I think that might be one season worth this box. Yeah, it's not the whole set. No. It's probably at 30 bucks. Yeah. They go, they go really well, though. You get the whole thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Hazos, it's all right. 
Yeah. Um, that's decent. That's, Taken's decent. That's nice. That's, that's a that's a slow sell through though. Shield. Shield is it? Yeah. Um, takes a while. Dexter. Yeah. Uh, got another Game of Thrones, one to seven. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, these ones go really well because it's Blu-ray whole series. Okay. So it's one to four Blu-ray. One to four Blu-ray. Awesome collection, mate. Four seal. And none of these are on eBay. They were. They were. At one point, most of them. Yeah. Um, and then you got you just pulled it all down. Yeah. Deleted the store. the store. Yeah, it was too much, and I knew if I didn't like stop there, then I wouldn't be able to like fulfill orders and stuff. Yeah. So I just shipped out what I had to, and then that was it. Closed it down. Yep. Yeah. Now show me, show me some of your higher end stuff. I'm seeing a Pokemon XD, is it over there? If you've made it to this part of the video and you're yet to subscribe to the channel, now would be a pretty good time to do so. We're on a mission to get to 20,000 subs. It'd be great to get you on board. Yeah, unfortunately, it's case and manual only. Case and manual only, but it still, still goes still for a lot of money. At least 100, I'd say. Yeah. So, almost mint condition. That's incredible. So I would probably keep it if I had the game. Yeah, of course. But, um, yeah, I think with game, it's gone around 400. Yeah. So, yeah. That's insane. So that, um, this one, it's a promo game for The Last of Us. Oh, okay. I think it's about 120 right now. Really? Yeah. Just the disc? Yeah, so I bought, um, I think, 400-ish promo discs from one lady. Yeah. And, um, yeah, um, her brother, I believe, worked at EV Games, so he got them all the time. After he played them, he just left them. Wow. So then they just accumulated over the years. Wow. So I got that, and I got it with this one as well. So this is like a really good 50 cent game. I think it's probably about 60 bucks. 60 bucks on the 50 cent. This one's crazy. All right, so hold that. Wolfenstein 3D. The original PC game. I haven't checked in a while, but at one point it was a couple hundred, I want to say. Couple of hundred? Yeah. And it was cool because when I bought it, the guy even gave me his cheat codes for it that he printed out. No way. I kept it. It's kind of cool story around it. That's a really cool story. But, um, you could even sell it as, as a yeah, full set with I the would, cheat codes. Yeah. But he'd like show you how to get different things hold tap plus g become invisible <laughs> this game goes for like 380 or something what like that. game's that it's brand new and sealed how'd right? you get your hands on um i got it in a trade from um wow uh figsy oh a figsy yeah, yeah what a man so, fully so it's sealed, a brand new and sealed. sealed and um Pixel the job. only ones that have sold on ebay are his copies oh is that so right I think they, they were going for somewhere like 350 ish Thinks he's a good man though. Yeah. As you can see, Jamie's got some awesome stuff and I actually think I'm gonna end up buying more than I'd planned to when I first got here. I'm gonna show you the negotiation process that I go through with all of these private buyers and the first category that we're gonna break down in price is gonna be the shoes. Would you do 10 on, um, would you do 15 on the higher ends and then 10 on the lower ends? Yeah. So we got... That's probably my bike costs in anyway. Yeah, so we'd probably go 15 on I'm just, un like, I'd say 15 on these. Yep. 15 on these. I'd say 10 on them. I'd undecided on condition based on quality of that. I'd go 15 on them yep. as higher ends. I'd go 10 on them because yep. I'll go for 50 on that. And then it's just the quality. I'll be 10 on these on them. 10 on them because I'll try and go for about 40 to 50. Awesome. Yeah. So, shoes. I don't think there are any others. Oh, there's two other boxes. Oh, we'll check them. Yeah, I'll take the Quantums. 15 on them. Yep, they're yep, good. Um, what are they? Boosts. Boosts. I bet you 10 on them. Yeah, I've never seen a boost like that. Brooks? Nah, I'll pass on them. Um, hey, a 6 or under. Nah, I'll pass on. Oh, they're, in, they're a good size. Would you do 10 on them? Yep. Okay, 10-10. Um, these are Tailwinds. Tailwind 8. No, I'll pass on the tailwinds. MX90s? Yeah, MX90s. It's more, but they're a nice colour. 10 bucks? Yeah, right. Probably go 10 on them. Yeah, uh, yeah. Probably go 10 on them. I'll probably go for 50 bucks. Yeah. Any shoe that's um, not going to be sold for 50, or is going to be sold for 50, I'd go 10. That was it for shoes. Oh, I think so. All right, so shoes. We've got a bunch here now. These are the higher ends. These gel quantum 180s are a good pair, so we're gonna go 15 on them. They look like they're in pretty good nick. There's no fabric tears or anything in them, are there? No, they're, they're pretty good. Cool, so we've got 15. As you can see here, Jamie's pretty much money back on these because he's paying 15 in the thrift, just as I would as well. So I'm happy to go ahead with money back. Um, that's 75 there. 
And then these shoes, we're going to go for $10 each. Um, so we've got some boosts, got a fair few pairs of hokers, but as you know, they're not in the best of Nick, but they'll still sell. Um, these Air 270s are a good pair of shoes for 10. Should get about 50 bucks for those. All right, so we've got two, four, six, eight, nine, ninety plus 75. We're up to 165, 165 bucks in shoes, mate. All right, so the next thing that we're going to have a look at is the DVDs. We've just done the shoes. We're going to do DVDs, and then we're going to do some video games, and then just a couple of other odd bits and pieces, and we'll round that out for today. But I might have to come back over the next few days and buy a few more things because obviously Jamie's going to clear it all out, and he's got a lot of good stuff. So it'd be good to cut an even bigger deal. But we're going to dive into the DVDs now, try and strike up a deal, and then jump into those video games. All right, so I've just got this big tub of DVDs now looked out, which I'm going to be looking to do a deal on. And then I've also got these, which are more like your box set style DVDs as well. So that one actually is more of a box set. So it's that. All right, so I've just finished adding them all up. There's 70 odd in there, 60 odd in there. It adds up to 150 total. Question just is with 150, what's your unit price per DVD? How's two bucks a piece? Two bucks a piece. So that'd be $300. $300 for this set, I'm happy to go ahead with that. There's a lot of good items in there, so I'm happy to do 300. Nice little DVD collection. All right, so we've got this allocation of games here. Big tub, and as you saw before, there's a mix of everything, except for probably PlayStation 1. I don't see a lot of PS1. We've got one. We've got one. Oh, that's Spice right. Girls. Spice World. Yeah. But there's a big stack down here, and it's all of the different console types, which is cool. Um, 123 games in total. What would be a unit price on that? This time around, how about you give a unit price? It may give a unit from there. I'll say three dollars. Three? Yeah. So what that bring us to? Uh, three hundred and sixty. Three sixty. Yeah. Four hundred flat. All right. No. Done. Four hundred bucks. So we'll do four hundred on these games, and I think I think that's pretty good. So four hundred plus three hundred plus the shoes was one sixty five. So eight hundred and seventy. I think that all adds up to, if my maths is right. Yeah. Good to see you, my man. That was unreal. Right. Good hookup. Um, give Jamie some love in the comments, guys. It's been a long time since he's been on this YouTube channel, but it's good to see you again, my man. We'll see you soon. Yeah. All right, guys. That was a big buy, but unreal from Jamie to be able to give me a call and give me that opportunity. It's about connections, guys. The more you can find, the more opportunities you're going to have for yourself. So. Uh, in the end, I ended up buying those jerseys um, that were shown, I think, at the start of the video, maybe, the way I edited it, I don't know. Um, but I bought them, which we didn't negotiate with Jamie. They were $10 each. Uh, there were some DVDs left astray that we didn't account for. There was an extra $30 that I paid for that. Look, all in all, I bought the hats as well, actually, for $5 a piece off him too. So all up, I think it works out to about $960-odd dollars for the deal, which I think is really fair. I'm really happy to help Jamie out. Um, I think Jamie's pretty happy with the deal too. So... Um, look, he's, he's still got a large allotment of stuff up there, and I know a lot of you guys that are locally based um, that know Jamie um, might be interested in going out and giving him a helping hand as well, and he is doing some pretty good deals. So um, go and say hi, shoot him a message. He is the everyday flipper, and he is an absolute legend. Um, yeah, we won't lose him to this resale space. He's still going to be there, but just more on a part-time basis.